Hi, my name is Kai and today I want to show you how to use block properties in ePlan. As an example, I want to show you how you can show automatically the feedback digital input from your MCCB on the main function. And when you change your digital input, how it get updated automatically. So stay tuned. So we want to have now automatically the digital input from the feedback signal of this MCCB shown here on the MCCB main function over the contact from the feedback signal. To do this, we need to prepare the main function here a little bit. So we double click on the FC6 and here in the field properties, we need to add another property. So we go here to new and insert here and search here for block properties. And here we can select the block property one. As you can see here is this block property one just to show the value of the block property, which we want to select later. So we click on OK and you can see that you cannot insert something here. That's the reason why this field is gray. And the other property which we need is for the block property one, we need the block property one format one. This is already existing. If you don't have it, you can click on the plus and select it from the list. And here on the block property format one, we can insert some data. So we can use the more button. And now you have to select the target which you want to show. And this is a little bit complicated. So you need to have a look also here on the graphical preview window because you see that it's always marked where we are in the moment. So we start from the main function. I always go to the main function and then we have here these steps and click on next level. That means we start now from the main function and go now to the next function and to the input. So the next function which we need is the normally open contact. So we go to other functions of the device, multi-line, and here we can see the different functions which we can select. So we are already on the MCCB. Here we can select the normally open or the normally closed. Normally closed is not used in our drawing and that's why here is no cross-reference shown. So we go here to our normally open contact and go to the next level. And now we need to jump down to the digital input connection of the PLC box. So therefore we go to connection via connection point and target number. And here you can see when you click on connection point one, it's this side. And when you click on connection point two, it's the other side. So because the digital input is on, on the left side here on the PLC box, we use this connection point and go to the next level. And now we go to the last function via connection point and target number and go here to target one. And now you see on the graphical preview window that the digital input is marked. And now we click to the next step and select now our PLC input. Therefore, we go to function and here we select the PLC connection point. This we move to the right side. And now you have all the properties available, which are below this PLC connection point. So, and you can see also some values if they are available. For example, here the data type and here the PLC address. So this is what we 
try to show. So we click OK. Click OK and have now this format here. And now we go to display and here we add also the block property one. Now we click OK and you can see here that we get automatically the address from our feedback signal. And now we just need to modify our MCCB so that this feedback signal input is over the contact. Therefore we double click on our MCCB, go here to the tab display, undock it and click OK. And now we can make a right click, text and move text property, mark the feedback signal and shift it for example over our contact. And now later on if for example your digital input changed, for example to 2.7, we go here to connection and update and have now digital input 2.7. Do you have any other ideas for block properties? Please write them below in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.